Good morning. Uh, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on uh, Monday, May 11th, before the market opens. So things pretty much stayed the same over the last week. The short-term rally is still in effect. There hasn't been really much change in the other indicators. Uh, the S&P chart does show the short-term uh, uptrend still intact. The um, prices are remaining above the 20-day moving average. If we broke down below last week's low at 2800, that would probably be a, sign, a warning sign. So on a short-term basis, that's the first uh, important support level. There is further support below that down all the way to 2650, which is sort of the crucial one that a lot of people are looking at. Uh, but longer term, I'm still having my doubts, um, you know, crashes, as I've said before, usually do have a retest of some sort. Uh, it can sometimes be months out, but um, I'm still looking for some sort of a pullback eventually. The per car ratios remain solidly on buy signals. They continue to decline um, every day. And as long as that's the case, uh, that's a bullish sign for stocks. So right now, those are still in the bullish camp. They're getting a little bit low on their charts, which means they're getting towards overbought territory, but really not much to worry about there. Uh, breadth improved again on Thursday and Friday. Uh, essentially, it's flipped back and forth uh, quite a bit, but right now the breadth oscillators are on buy signals. Uh, again, a, a negative day or two will probably flip them back to sell signals, so a, a not a really a crucial indicator at this point. Volatility maintains its... Uh, Short-term bullishness with these uh, VIX spike peak buy signals in effect. Uh, according, um, well, the first one was, I believe, April uh, 22nd. And uh, <clears throat> also, there's a short-term crossover uh, of the term structure in CBOE volatility indices. That's also a bullish sign. Longer term, though, we still will retain a somewhat bearish attitude as long as VIX remains above its 200-day moving average. And right now, that's certainly the case. Uh, VIX is around 30. The 200-day moving average is around 23. So to summarize, we're still maintaining a core bearish position with out-of-the-money puts just in case um, something uh, untoward happens here. But we have been playing the buy signals as well on the long side, uh, trading around the long-term core bearish position. I'd like to remind you that this coming Saturday, um, which is May 16th, we're going to have a uh, Saturday morning webinar. Uh, the topic will be advanced spreading techniques, but we'll also be discussing the market and we'll have a lengthy uh, question and answer session if uh, the participants <clears throat> have that many questions. So um, thanks for listening and visit our website, optionstrategist.com. We have a lot of interesting things going on there, including a new indicator that we're posting up on tradingview.com. Thanks for listening.